Greetings, history enthusiasts and curious minds. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey back in time. Our destination, the origins of war. We'll traverse a timeline stretching from half a million years before Christ to 3,000 years before the same pivotal point in history. As we delve into this intriguing subject, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Now, let's plunge into the depths of history to understand the origins of war. Imagine a time before civilization, a time when survival was the only game in town. This was the prehistoric era, a time that was far from peaceful. The evidence of prehistoric warfare is etched into our past, revealed through archaeological findings, cave art and primitive weapons. Let's delve into the archaeological evidence first. Numerous prehistoric skeletons have been unearthed bearing the scars of a violent end. Take, for instance, the mass grave discovered at Jebel Sahaba in present-day Sudan. This site, dating back to the late Stone Age, contained the remains of 24 individuals. Each skeleton bore signs of violent trauma with injuries inflicted by arrows, spears or clubs. This evidence paints a grim picture of prehistoric warfare one characterized by brutal close-quarters combat. Moving on, let's consider cave art. These ancient murals provide a fascinating snapshot of prehistoric life. Among the depictions of animals and hunting scenes, images of conflict are strikingly common. A notable example is the cave art found in the Serra da Capivara National Park in Brazil. Here, scenes of armed confrontations and warriors carrying clubs and spears are etched onto the rock faces providing further evidence of prehistoric warfare. And what about the primitive weapons themselves? From sharp flints to wooden clubs, these tools of war were rudimentary yet effective. The spear in particular stands out as a game changer, extending the range of combat and providing a deadly advantage. But what drove our ancestors to war? Theories abound, but competition for resources and territorial disputes are commonly cited as triggers for conflict. Imagine a world where securing a hunting ground could mean the difference between survival and starvation. In such a world, warfare, as grim as it may sound, could be seen as a necessary evil. So our ancestors were no strangers to conflict, shaping the foundation of warfare as we understand it today. The strategic planning, the weapons, the very instinct to protect and conquer, these are all echoes of our prehistoric past, resonating through the ages to the battlefields of the present day. Fast forward to the Neolithic Age, a period marked by the advent of agriculture and settled life. With the development of farming, communities naturally began to settle in one place, dramatically changing the dynamics of human interaction and, consequently, warfare. Before this era, conflicts were largely spontaneous, driven by the need for survival and resources. But as humans transitioned from hunting and gathering to farming, a new type of conflict emerged, one that was more organized and strategic. Now, with people living in permanent settlements, territorial disputes became more common. As communities grew and expanded, they inevitably bumped up against each other, leading to friction and, ultimately, conflict. But these were not the random skirmishes of the past. These conflicts were planned, coordinated efforts, often involving entire communities. With settled life came the need for protection, leading to the construction of fortifications. These were the precursors to the castles and fortresses we think of today. They were simple, often just a ditch and embankment, but they demonstrated a clear understanding of strategic defense. In this new era, weapon technology also evolved. Tools that were once used for hunting were adapted for warfare, and new weapons were developed. Stone axes and spears were replaced with more complex weapons like slings, bows, and arrows. The Neolithic Age also saw the first instances of war as a strategic effort. Battles were no longer just about immediate survival. They were about protecting resources and land for future generations. Leaders would plan and strategize, deciding when and where to attack. This period in human history marked a significant shift. Warfare was no longer just a byproduct of survival. It was becoming a structured and integral part of society. Communities were not only fighting for survival, 
but also for power and control. Thus, the Neolithic Age marked the dawn of organized warfare, a concept that still resonates today. Now let's step into the Bronze Age, a time when metal started to shape the course of war. The Bronze Age, spanning roughly from 3000 BC to 1200 BC, was a transformative period in human history. It witnessed the discovery and widespread use of bronze, an alloy of copper and tin. This newfound material was harder and more durable than anything previously available, revolutionizing toolmaking and more importantly, warfare. With bronze, the weapons of war evolved beyond simple stone and wood. Swords and spears, crafted with this resilient metal, became commonplace on the battlefield. The bronze sword in particular was a game changer. Its strength and sharpness gave warriors an unprecedented edge in combat, allowing for quicker, more lethal strikes. But bronze wasn't just used for offensive weapons. It also played a crucial role in defense. Bronze enabled the creation of protective armor, providing soldiers with a level of protection previously unattainable. Body armor, helmets, and shields became standard issue, offering warriors better chances of survival in the heat of battle. However, the Bronze Age didn't just give us new tools for warfare. It also introduced innovative tactics and strategies. The most notable of these was the chariot. For the first time, soldiers could move swiftly across the battlefield, launching attacks from a distance before swiftly retreating. The chariot was not just a vehicle, it was a mobile platform for war, altering the dynamics of combat forever. The impact of bronze on warfare was profound. It transformed the nature of conflict, making it more deadly and efficient. But it also spurred technological advancements as societies strove to outdo each other in the arms race, they learned to mine and smelt, to craft and engineer, all in the pursuit of military dominance. The Bronze Age, therefore, was a pivotal period in the evolution of warfare, setting the stage for future conflicts. So, we have journeyed through time, tracing the origins of war. From the primal struggles for survival in prehistoric times, We've seen how the advent of the Neolithic Age and settled life affected the nature of warfare. Then, the Bronze Age brought with it significant advancements, transforming conflict on an unprecedented scale. This journey through time underscores the fact that the origins of war are as old as humanity itself, a testament to our complex and sometimes tumultuous history.